This is one on one. A weekly sports talk session from WUTM sports director Josh Lemons, where he sits down with players, coaches, and fans to discuss everything Skyhawk athletics. Now, host Josh Lemons with some one on one. Welcome to a special presentation of one on one. This week, I'm sitting down with Vice President and GM of the New York Football Giants, Jerry Reese. Mr. Reese, thanks so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning to you. First off, originally from Tiptonville. Yes. Played for Lake County. Yep. Grew up in uh, northwest Tennessee, a little town called Tiptonville. Um, played football there. We uh, won state championship as a, as a quarterback. I played quarterback there and, uh, you know, humble beginnings, uh, but learned a lot there. Had really good uh Family support and uh, my the faculty support. My coach Cliff Sturdivant there was uh, tremendous influence on my life and taught me a lot of things. And I really, uh, what I, I learned a lot of things there playing quarterback that I still use today as a GM with the Giants. Well, welcome home. When was the last time you were back on UT Martin's campus? Uh, back on campus, uh, it's it's been a while. A couple of years ago, uh, my daughter and I, Jasmine, came up for a homecoming game and I can't remember which one it was but it was a it was a homecoming game and uh, we came back and uh, had a good time that day a lot of changes really since uh, since the last time you were here really it, it things have changed you know the, the field house uh, where, where the uh, where the, the football teams are, are housed over there the facility over there it's really upgraded looks terrific the field uh, the stadium it looks terrific. Uh, all around campus is really a beautiful campus. It was a beautiful campus when I was here, and it's even more beautiful now. So let's talk about, um, you started with the New York Giants in 1994 as a scout, is that correct? That's correct. What exactly, uh, other than, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of travel involved in, in that job. Mm-hmm. Well, when I started out, uh, I started out as a, as, as a regional scout, and I still lived here in Martin, and my area was the southeast, so I got to see a lot of good football players in the southeast conference, okay. and, uh, you know, scouts travel from about 185 to 200 days out of the year, so it's really, uh, you know, uh, you, when I first got a job, people were like, wow, that's a great job, you know, but I, they didn't know I was traveling so much, so, <laughs> right. so you're really away from home a lot, and, uh, you know, Jasmine was, uh, I think... When I first got the job, Jasmine was like two years old. She's 19 years old now. So, mm-hmm. uh, so just a lot of travel when you, when you first get involved as a scout. And after that, uh, we moved to New Jersey. They asked me to move up into the front office. I was assistant uh, pro director for about three years. Then they uh, moved me on up a little higher in the front office. And I was uh, director of player personnel for three or four years. And I've been the GM with the Giants for... Uh, this is my fifth year. I'm into my fifth year now as so the senior vice president and GM. Well, and, and and talking about the the role you played as player personnel, you know, currently right now the players' union and the owners are in a lockout. The collection of bargaining agreement hasn't really gone place. Being a GM, I think you would have to sort of carry both roles really because you want to you know respect your owners and everything, but you also want to support your players. Is that a difficult time right now for GMs in the business? Well, it's you know it, it's uh, it's different time. It's unusual time because this is the first time I myself have had. We, they've been lockouts before, but this is the first time I've had to experience something like that. So it, it's new to me as well. Uh, but I, I do think everything will be resolved and. Uh, I think hopefully we'll play football this fall. Uh, so it's it's unusual. You have to what, what I have to do now is have a lot of contingency plans on all the scenarios that I think could probably happen. So our staff is always busy and diligent about being ready for whatever situation happens with this. So th- that was actually going to be my next question. You think that we are going to play football? I, I'm I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Uh, we're really, really not at liberty to say a lot about it, sure. but, but uh, I'm very hopeful that we'll play this fall. Thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Okay, thank you for having me. This has been One on One. The views expressed in this program are not necessarily those of WUTM, the Department of Communications, or the University of Tennessee at Martin. Be sure to tune back in next time for some more One on One.